Arts. This is not the Peter Pan legend you've seen before. This is not a retelling. It's not a reimagining. This is an origin story. This is a movie that asks the question, who is Peter Pan? Why is he Peter Pan? How did he get to Neverland? Why do he and Hook hate each other so much? And all these are questions that I've sort of been obsessed with since a very young age. I love the original Barry book. I love a lot of the retellings. But I've always wondered about how it all began. And that was the motivation for the film, and that's the story that people are going to get to see if they come see Pan. Of course, the villain of the piece is Blackbeard. Um, can you talk a little bit about your choice of that character and what Hugh brings to the role? Well, I, honestly, I, Blackbeard for me was the only option as a villain because I wanted to, in looking at how the story begins and where it all generates from, I wanted to understand how Hook became Hook. And there's one reference, page 53 of the original Barry book, where they write that Hook trained as a bosun under Blackbeard. And so I read that and I thought, oh, well, that's, that's our bad guy. Hook trained under him. There's a relationship there. Blackbeard is a part of this world of Neverland and of the mythology. Let's include him. And so from there, it sort of went, okay, well, how do you find an actor who could fill such iconic shoes? And there aren't many actors more iconic and more capable of that than Hugh. And so we were very lucky. And Hugh also comes from uh, a theatrical background. And Blackbeard, in our imagining of this world, was always a sort of theatrical, over-the-top, tyrannical ruler of Neverland. And so Hugh was, I mean, I can't imagine anyone but Hugh playing that role. I grew up with strong women, and my mom's a strong woman and a very proud feminist. And so for me, I, I enjoy writing strong female characters. I don't think we have enough of them in Hollywood movies. And particularly Tiger Lily, I felt like in every version of the story I'd ever seen or read, felt like a sort of secondary character who was motivated by the wants and needs and desires of male characters around her. And that uh, rubbed me the wrong way, and I think it probably rubs a lot of people the same way and I thought what if we reconceived her as a strong badass sort of warrior princess who has a very clear objective who's defending Neverland who's protecting the fairy kingdom and will do anything make any sacrifice to accomplish her mission uh, and that was that was the motivation and Rooney was such a special actress and I was a very very fearsome Tiger Lily as people who see the movie will, will get to find out the the movie is called Pan and I always saw this film as a Peter Pan origin story where we're introduced to the characters around him, but don't fully get to see them become the people they're going to become. So Peter, without giving too much away, ends the film somewhat similar to the Peter Pan that we're introduced to in Barry's book, whereas Hook still has a long way to go. Uh, and that was by design. I wanted to feel, I wanted to really get a sense of what the origins of the Peter-Hook relationship were, and knowing how much they eventually hate one another, I thought, doesn't it stand to reason that maybe at the beginning they really liked and even loved one another? Uh, and so there are a lot of unanswered questions, but I think we leave it at a place where there are sort of tantalizing, exciting hints about what's to come. What was it like working with Joe on this? Joe is a mad genius. Joe, Joe is able to take a script like this to a very different level than I ever could have imagined. And he's also someone who's committed to doing things differently. He was committed to building the Neverwood. He built four blocks of this place. It's just extraordinary what he was able to create. And it really distinguishes it from a lot of other fairy tale sort of revisionist films. It feels like a real place. And that's a huge credit to Joe and also to Aline, our, uh, our production designer, Aline Bonetta. I have never had an experience in my life like walking into the Neverwood for the first time. We took over a studio called Cardington here in the UK, outside of London. And there are these massive air hangars where they used to build airships during the war. And we built the largest physical set in the history of the United Kingdom there where you'd walk into the Neverwood on one end and you could get lost by the time you got to the native village on the other. That was a pretty special moment and uh, I, I think it'll be a while before anything tops that on a film set for me. It's a timeless story because I think it carries a very specific and a very different message for two sets of audiences. I think for kids, it's wish fulfillment, it's joy, it's the possibility of your dreams becoming real. It's the notion that anything you dream, anything you aspire to can become possible. I think for grown-ups, it's the notion of childlike wonder, that you gotta keep the child inside you alive and feed that. And so I think whatever age you are, this movie and this story has something for you, and that's why it's lasted and sort of sustained itself as long as it has. And are you working on anything else at the moment? Uh, I am. I wrote a movie called Break My Heart a Thousand Times that Haley Steinfeld is gonna star, and it's sort of a supernatural thriller. Uh, Scott Spear, who's uh, directing a new movie called Midnight Sun with Bella Thorne, Patrick Schwarzenegger. He's going to shoot that as his follow-up film after that. Uh, and we're going to start shooting that next year up in Winnipeg. So I'm really excited about that. 
fans will be excited as well. Can you tell us any more just what it's about? Yeah, it's based, it's based on a great, great book uh, by Daniel Waters of the same title. And it takes place in a world where some event has happened, we don't quite know what, but as a result, ghosts are now a part of our world. They're a part of everyday life. And it's a story of a girl who lost her father, sort of navigating this world and realizing that ghosts have a very specific warning for her and she's got to figure it out in time for all of us.